Good evening and welcome to Two Local Radio. This is Ray Ray. This is Sean Jeezy. And Chrissy D's making coffee. Hell yeah. And tonight we have Bridgeport, Connecticut producers slash MC Bush Boy and probably his crew at Big Midget Music. What they're doing is every time I turn around CT with this mixtape is just going nuts in, in, in a good way, a really good way. Uh, they have a ton, I mean, a ton of talented artists on this one mixtape saying, hey, you don't think we have talent? Whether you like it or not, we, we're coming. And that's what I love. But before we, uh, you know, before uh, Mr. Uh, Bush Boy gets it here. All right, let's play In Another World. This is on 2 Local Radio, 86.5 on your Spreaker dial. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Time to touch another level, though. You can't avoid the A superstar nice. that is Full suck This is Ron. the V-Mix I ain't saying you ain't ready Just saying you should follow what you saying And be steady, get the Fetty, I'm already At a hundred and Maggetti, get more deadly For family, it's all the work, get heavy When not a eye, my ride or die Figure bring homicide, I'm on my lies Never been told, somebody put them on Figure dawn, what is that bumpy And you pick it up, pick it up Eat all summer, go through the winter stop <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Time to touch another level though. You can't avoid the star that is. Full suck. This is the I ain't saying you ain't ready. Just saying you should follow what you're saying and be steady. Get the fatty. I'm already at a hundred and make any get more deadly. For family, it's all the work get heavy. When not a I, I'm a ride or die. Figure bring homicide. I'm on my lies. Never been told. Somebody put them on. Figure dawn. What is that bumpy? And you pick it up, pick it up. Eat all summer. Go through the winter stuff. <laughs> He's off the riggedy rope. A dope MC who breathe eat the fill in the stroke. Is my receivers believe a cease our noise. Push through the roof. You get hate by T. <laughs> I don't think you overstood that one. Be on the lookout for kill season. Yikes. Rewind. Time to touch another level, though. A superstar that is. Full suck. This is the B-Man. I ain't saying you ain't ready, just saying you should follow what you saying and be steady, get the fatty, I'm already at a hundred and Maggetti, get more deadly, for family, it's all the work, get heavy, when not a eye, my ride or die, figure bring homicide, I'm on my lies, never been told, somebody put them on, figure dawn, what is that bumpy, and you pick it up, pick it up, eat all summer, go through the winter stuff, <laughs> he's off the riggedy rope, a dope MC, who breathe the fill in the stroke, is my receivers, believe us, cease our noise, push through the roof, you get hate by T-Boy, Race never hyped up like what? What it is? Who relate like us to that blow? To go out, put them out. When I'm out, you gon' bow. Settle down, swear to me that ain't versatile. I see not enough. Some get a little shine, others got a mini up. In world. They drive it applauded, but all this cut the nonsense palming. In that other world. Brief right, lead them to that green light, send them on a deep flight bright. In that other world. I style, I be stop, baby. This is how you get wavy. In another world. Even if I didn't want it, I'ma live with a gift to produce. Had a couple niggas and hit to the roof. My niggas is on it. Hippin' a big guy, hippin' a bitch, a kissin' supersonic. And no, no good. I'm oh so hood. Pop off my collider revivers. Won't let myself drop from dollars to nada. Hates built and building. Wanna be bothered. Big midget music, hotter than lava. I don't think they get it, get it, but I'ma help them get it. Well, over tough to forget it. it. 86.5, two local radio. Gotta be different from born. Too admired at Nazi, yeah. Holy ish, I'm back at it. Confident that we'll make it rain automatic. Oh, hella gon' take it easy. It's ball of magic, shook and popple features with that action. Versatile, I see not enough. Some get a little shine, others got a mini dub. They drive it applauded, but all this cut the nonsense palm it. Brief right, lead them to that green light, send them on a deep flight bright. In world. I style, I be stop, baby. This is how you get wavy. In another world. Shout out to the Shout out to six. 
Shout out to Pure Seduction, Star Wars, Eastwards, Down the Dead, it's your boy. I see you out there for Blast Movie, Two Digs, Crime Fam. We in the building, EOI. What's up? What's up? All right, we're back with uh, Two Local Radio, and we're just waiting for Mr. Uh, Bush Boy to arrive. And what did you think of the song, In Another World? I believe it's a, it's, it sounds like real, it got a good, real good sound to it. I love the, the, uh, the, the hook to it also, so it's a good song. I like it. And though I'd like to, you know, take credit for the rewind, it's not... It's- it's not you. It's not me. No. <laughs> but but you know if if I had uh, you know if I had one complaint about the platform that we're on, it would be to be able to use. Uh, I, I know you could use externally, but I want to internally be able to have some kind of mix. Yeah, that's that would be nice to uh, rewind it yourself, but you couldn't do it this time. So. All right. Well. We're, we're going to see uh, what's going on. We're going to see uh, if he's going to show. Um, I, I don't I don't doubt that he won't. Um, he could be having, you know, cell issues. Yeah, it could be. You never know. So uh, we're, we're, we're going to see what's up. And, you know, if he, you know, joins us, he joins us. If he doesn't, then we'll just have to reschedule for another time. You know, it is what it is. Sounds good to me. He just might be running later. There could be a bunch of things going on. Oh, yeah. But this is, you know, the first one. He said he was, you know, Mr. Bush Boy, also part of, uh, you know, the producer of Big Midget Music, said, uh, you know, he was thrilled and wanted to come on okay. and everything. Uh, if it is uh, on our end, if he could uh, give us a... Uh, you know, something over on Facebook saying, hey, I'm having some issues, that would be wonderful. Yes, it would. So, I mean, we're going we're gonna to do what we can, and uh, while we wait, uh, we'll, we'll play one more song. Why not? We're going to play I Hear Him Calling. You're still on 86.5, Loco to Local Radio. Above. Your favorites favor, misbehave thugs. Some of the greatest plays an amazing buzz. Scrapers line graped up, got them to wake up a drug. And now those we all of the above. Talented souls display polishing your flaws. Do it to now, cause what ain't promises tomorrow. I give them the bow out, wow, it's Halloween across. The East Coast better stay close, it's getting large. With or without support, and I'm supporting for the sport. God bless whom bless them, unable to torch. I feel like a winner coming off the porch before, etc. To be sure of a better rush. I hear them calling, but it sounds like they were pressured to a fight. Ain't a for it, but the more it pour, they wait it to or die. Until they see the real in me and now to dump for free. I might drop it out. Calling me out, keep calling me out till I see swollen teeth and blood in your mouth. Just the type of typical, typical shit I'm into. And naked on that bruise, shit I get up for my one twos. Break fast or hard last, I'm so past. Y'all do a shit that I've been did, I laugh last. Y'all get it, I live it. Big midgets, my digits, no limit, I just spend it. For a minute, I fell on my foul off and tell y'all to kiss my ass but play my next song. Real despicable individual, here we really, really go. On to the next chapter that's never ending. I'm not giving a guy a pick in my finger licking niggas with their hands in my pocket trying to get mine. In due time, I'll never mind my old rhymes and y'all to catch up and be like, That nigga was so good. 
Bob Gayo, stay grounded by God's halo. Mike Brown, they straight rocket, pull socket. Ain't no turning the mouth when he's on that, uh uh. Y'all better get it together or forever be in tune with the mo better with mo cheddar. I bet you wanna see a nigga off guard, betcha. All right, we are joined by Bush Boy, the producer, one of the, you know, big producers of big midget music. Yeah, what's going on, man? How How is your night so far? My night is great all the time. Your, night, your night's running great all the time. Okay. All right, so... uh. You know, we just played two of your songs. First, we played uh, In Another World. What was the meaning behind that? In Another World is just like the meaning was just like being different. Unlike the same, like how everybody else would do it. So uh, different in which way? Different, like how I delivered it, how I went about the song. And all that stuff because usually people will go extra street on it. Some people probably wouldn't even go over type of stuff like that, beats wise, melody wise, you know. So I just flipped it on another page than the average. And, and that's what that is what it's about. Now, uh, wh- what's the uh, backstory as far as I hear him calling? I hear him calling was just like you know, like people. Who with, with, with big eagles and looking for the best out there and they hear about the best and they just try to come at you in so many ways. But it sounds like they ain't ready for it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I totally do. So uh, what is, what is the meaning behind your name, you know, Christ, Christ Bush? Christ Bush? Well, they always said I look like a black Jesus, so they always started calling me Jesus at first. It just changed over to Christ. And uh, do you have any opposition from that, from being called that? Is that why you also go by uh, Bush Boy? No, no, Bush Boy. I am a Bush Boy. My last name is Bush, so that's why I go by Bush Boy. And Bush Boy is the name of my production is Bush Boy Noise. All right, so so when did you start, you know, um, doing music as far as, like, producing? When did you, you know, know that was your calling? Well, I, I've, been, I've been producing forever since real, real, real young, before 10 years old. But I just started doing recording and writing and music about seven, eight years ago. Well, absolutely beautiful. So, uh, you know, we work with, you know, Brick House and you know the modeling. Um, how did how did you come in contact with Yanni and you know all the great ladies over there? Well, Yanni, she's from the same side of town I am in the city I was raised in, so we kind of linked up. On Facebook, like officially, and then we made it happen from there. Shows, promos, etc. And what what exactly is uh, going on as far as uh, you know the CT mixtape? Why, why don't you um, why don't you explain the backstory behind that and what this is about? The CT mixtape, our CT mixtape. Correct. Oh, it's the tsunami. That's what we call the tsunami. It's just like a whole, whole bunch of songs that we got already in the crate that we that we did, different genres. You know what I'm saying? Not on the same style, coming from all types of angles. So that's where I I come from with it. All right. Um, I am sure. Um, you know, Sean G D over here. Wants to know the meaning behind uh, big midget music, and are you a big midget? Well, yeah. Well, we 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 sure by height, so that's where the midget come in at. And the big part is like how we see things, how we go about things. You know, 
and we we never see things as nothing small. Everything is big, and we try to do it bigger every time we come around. Oh That's man, big major music. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm I'm a short fella myself, and I, I I'm short and and big in size, so I'm maybe five foot. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I mean, man. Not in that type of way, but you know, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. we we think it like visual wise, like not in body part. Right. Yeah, that's I, a whole nother, that's I a whole other level, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what what ha- what has uh you know as far as I, I know you all are still uh you know you're working on it and whatnot, but what's the reaction so far on this on your uh, CT mixtape? The CT so far is doing good online. It, it has a lot of downloads on SoundCloud. That's why I mainly put it. It was supposed to just be a SoundCloud thing, and then we burned a lot of physical copies. We gave them out, so everybody enjoying them. So, what you think about the labels today? Are they are they something to sign with, or are they garbage? Well, I, I really don't even know because we in our own lane, so we trying to make our brand more official than what it is. Start our own label. We're not really trying to sign with anybody. Okay, and, and and I think that's what most uh, you know indie artists are doing right now. They're yeah. they're seeing that ninety ninety cents on a dollar goes to the label, and they're like, nah, uh, uh-uh, not no more. Yeah, right, because we produce and mix and master and edit everything ourselves, so we feel like we could just do it ourselves. So, uh, when did you? At what age did you? First decide, you know, you wanted to MC, and what and, and what is your like style? If somebody were to say, you know, uh, Christ Bush, what is the meaning behind the man? Well, I'm saying the style is just original. I just try to be as different as they come. Like when I see somebody doing one thing, that's just like my green light to do the next thing. I try not to do the same thing as somebody else. That's the meaning behind. Christ Bush, the difference. And, and where do you get all these uh, different genres from? Uh, to I mean, because it, it's a great blend. You have all, if you listen to different songs, you have, mm-hmm. you know, a different kind of feeling to it. Mm-hmm. it it's not the same old, same old. Yeah, that's, it just comes natural. That's, it's not something we plan. It's just something that just come out like that. Because the you know I I I, I listen to the uh, another world, and and the beat to that man it, it sounds like a churchy beat. You know what I mean? Or mm-hmm. uh, uh, it sounds like mm-hmm. a you know the African drum beat. It, it's nice, mm-hmm. man. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, that's big major music. We more we more up tempo than anything. Yeah, that's real good. That's nice. Yeah, we like to keep the party going, keep everybody off the wall. Yeah, if any of uh, Christ Bush's uh, fans or uh, friends or you know want to call in and ask them a question, feel free one eight five five four zero three nine zero seven one. If not, we'll keep rolling. Mm-hmm. Right. So, I mean, the real song I wanted, I, I never really, uh, you know, got to get, but it, it's really fire just from, you know, the whole noise behind them is Gunnem. Mm-hmm. I, you know, uh, Sean Jeezy listened to it earlier, and what did you think of that track? Uh, it was a nice track. I liked it. I liked it. And what did you like most about it? I like I like the whole track from the beginning to the end. I mean, the the hook was outrageous. I like that. <laughs> I I like the whole you know like um fire bell. Mm-hmm. The uh, the the whole I mean it's just fire. Yeah. The whole yeah. soundy alarm. Yeah. We're here. If you don't like it too bad. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> Now, uh, I'm a strong believer because uh, we're originally, you know, are not where, but I'm originally from Connecticut. 
All right. And I, I've heard, you know, forever, and I've explained this on various shows about the, you know, Connecticut to get on the map, Connecticut to get on the map. And I'm, the whole time I'm thinking, well, if the number one sales comes from Connecticut, how the hell are they not on the map? There isn't a map. They just make you believe there's a map. So, uh, as as far as your music, is it really vibing as far as uh, CT or the haters in the play? Because I, I remember when I was back there, there were a lot of haters. Yeah, nah, it's not, I, don't, I don't know about towards CT it's on, but I know, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of hate coming from other places. But that's only because it's a lot of people doing the same thing. They ain't acknowledging those who's doing it. Other things, it's a lot. Of, it's a whole bunch of talent in CT, and I feel like we do better as one. But not a lot of people want to work as one right now. But we'll get it together, though. Yeah, it it may take time, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. That make more sense. So, what is your favorite track that you've uh, produced, and what is your favorite track that you've uh, you know emceed on, and why? Oh man. Right there, I never even thought of it like that. I mean, I like a lot of our stuff. I, I I like the creativity of making music from the beginning, no matter who it is. So I never really looked at my own and was like, "This is my favorite one" or nothing like that. So you don't you don't have a favorite offhand? Nah, not of my own. I don't have a favorite of my own. All right, well, what's your favorite track that you produced for one of your boys, then? Um, that's tough. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's so many out there, that's what I'm saying. I like them all. Like, nobody has let me down yet, basically. So it's like everybody's neck to neck with their tracks. I just like what everybody's doing with them, you know what I mean? If I ain't like them, I would take the beat back or we'll have to polish the song hey man i should have went through you years ago i should have known you because uh years <laughs> years ago i used to uh you know rhyme myself I, I don't know if i can do it anymore but i i used to uh uh rhyme and when i uh rhymed you know i had uh this producer and he said okay yeah you're fire we're, we're gonna i'm gonna put you on this that and the other give him the money and then all of a sudden he went m.i.a <laughs> Yeah, see, he can't do that's that. Cold. Now you go, and he needs you now. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but uh, that that's just how it works sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Be like that. I mean, we brush it off, sweep it under the rug, keep it moving. All right, so uh, well, as far as big midget music, why don't you explain who's who's uh you know involved in that and. Uh, you know, give your shout out to your people. Let let people know, you know, who you work with. Yeah. Um, every, well, basically, everybody is family. There's no real outsiders. You know what I'm saying? It's all brothers and first cousins. You know what I'm saying? We got um my brother coming out with another mixtape hosted by myself. I go by DJ Super Duper. It's called Super Let's Turn Up. We got two mixtapes out right now. Now Hate Me hosted by... DJ Spiral, and he got Kill Season hosted by myself, DJ Super Duper. It's out on datpip.com. We got the Tsunami that got the whole family on it. We got Slimex the Rapper, slimextherapper.com. He on there. He got his first volume one mixtape out. He's coming out with volume two. Anything else is just in the making. Right now, we're doing behind the scenes works with a lot of people, and, you know, blogs videos we putting together so we could drop a lot of visual we got a lot of songs out so we try and put a lot a lot of videos out on top of that and we got to continue all right and, and and you keep on uh you know mentioning this tsunami uh what what does that mean to you tsunami is, is just we just gonna unleash a lot of tracks that we was trying to hold back like at one point, we was feeling like they shouldn't get that much. We should stay. We should do this. But now we feel like we got so much, we just going to let everything out while we're working on our main project so we can take our time more. And we just have crates and crates full of songs. So 
is just gonna keep flooding the cities. That's a tsunami. Oh, so uh, l- let's just say, you know, hypothetically, big midget music, you know, blew up, and you know, really, you know, became one of the top, you know productions uh you know as far as a label and whatnot you know on the indie scene and you made your money would you be the same person or do you think that you would change because you have the money no i would definitely be the same person the money wouldn't change us because we're not i mean everybody needs money but we're not really in for for the money like we just we in for for the love. We we do this for the love. And I noticed on uh you know a lot of tracks, and that's even beyond the ones that we were you know so grateful to receive and everything, uh the play, that all these songs really have a meaning to them rather than just a bunch of garbage. Yeah, right. That that's big nigga music. We do more songs than actual just freestyle tracks. Sweet. So, so uh, who would you say, you know, were some of your favorite people to work with so far? Favorite people to work with was definitely the, the circle, the, the family, Big Midget Music. You know what I'm saying? But I got uh, other people from Long Island. We got Light and Lounge Radio we've been working with. We got Pure Seduction from out there, Brick House, Fat Fly and Flashy we've been working with. You know, a lot of people, it's your boy, Duso Trey, Eastwood Entertainment, Starwood Entertainment, Hard Knocks Entertainment. It's a, it's a lot. I could, I could fill up this whole time just going down the line. <laughs> and that's what it's about. The you know, the more powerful you are as far as they say strength in numbers. When you have numbers like that, I know big things are popping over at Brick House. I also right. know big things are popping over in Pure Seduction. We, right, we've we interviewed both. Yeah. So what, what can we see you doing on a day off if you ever do have a day off? Like just relaxing with your boys? What do y'all do? No, I, I, I just cool. I mean, I, I don't got no days off. Like even on my days off, I'm still strategizing, trying to figure out the next move. So I don't really call it a day off, even when I'm relaxing. All right. Well, on that note, we're going to play a wolf pack, and then we're going to be right back on 2 Local Radio 86.5 on your Spreaker dial. Yeah, Cooks! We got them! We got them! We got them! Nah, man, hear me out, hear me out. Flow is significance, crowds become immigrants Keep it moving, local motors, we rocking them Timberlands Tell a friend to tell a friend, we live in the letterman Entertainment, no television These bars are beneficial to your health Affect people like medicine when it's felt Spank niggas without a belt, stack pilots without a shell Humble hygiene, protein, mail out of health Flow is significance, crowds become immigrants Keep it moving, local motors, we rocking them Timberlands Tell a friend to tell a friend, we live in the letterman Entertainment, no television, these bars are beneficial to your health, affect people like medicine when it's felt, spank niggas without a belt, stack products without a shelf, carbohydrates, protein, a lot of health, a lot of rappers talk money, I'm talking health, it's a turn off, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves, niggas, niggas can't even look at themselves, they point a gun at the mirror and they aim at themselves, yeah. That's low self-esteem Wash your mouth off with soap or that Listerine Arm and hammer, Ajax and Mr. Clean Please, niggas is funny like Mr. Bean When the 4 5th fifth, fifth is up in the building It's a whole whole pack of G's My God. We getting money surrounded by bitches And these niggas can't fuck with me Cause we get it all Banging it from the You're bottom You're listening to Two Local Radio Part, part, 
push over that artificial, willing that authentic. Send it to the left, we siphon it all in it. Attitude in the city, cause four's on a lid, high pitch, hugging the waist. Yeah, on the dead, breathe easy. Nobody moves to that green light. I run this year, he a runner, supreme light. This jean tight and stitch well. How can they pick gals to pull with the madness? Set it off, get drastic, bastards. You got another thing coming to school. Think you him, I got brand new news. It's collaborated blood, do you singing the blues? You've been touched. Now that the rush has been removed, you can fiddle. And I don't mean a little, I mean a lot of a lot of. Spread them wings, Papa, you got them. No him, he on me. So for Marty Law, keep a Tommy. Hoping that he's sleeping me out. All right, we're back with Christ Bush, or in other words, Bush Boy. All right, so uh, did... Did D-Block kidnap you by uh, for a day and then bring you back to <laughs> CT? <laughs> uh, nah, nah. Them the, them, the, them the dudes, though. You know, I represent those. I represent them, too, man. I'm one of my favorite rap groups right there. Be, because I, I'm hearing some uh, Chic Looch, and at the same time, I'm hearing some Styles P. And, and, uh, you know, Sean Jeezy over here even mentioned a little bit of Nas. What's going on with that? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know, man. That's, that's a compliment, though. I could take yeah. that as a compliment. Nah, that's good music, man. I like it. Word up. <laughs> yeah, and, and what I like is, uh, you, you know, it, in today's hip-hop, you need, like, one of three things that I think they possess of all three. One, you need, you know, that banging beat. Oh, yeah. right. Two, you need, you know, top notch lyrics. But three, you need a killer hook, and it sounds like they got all three all mastered. Three. Oh, yeah. All That's three of them. Yeah. And uh, Sean yeah, Jeezy, okay. when you talk, man, can you put the mic a little closer to you? Yeah, I got you, man. <laughs> really I got shot. you, man. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah, All right, uh, I guess uh, Sean Jeezy, who's normally full of things to say, is given uh, he he's a little uh, starstruck right now. <laughs> <laughs> he he don't know what to say. I can dig it in, in a good way, though. In a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. So, uh, w- what do you got coming up? Um, I know you said you got a, uh, you know, you're doing videos and you know mixtapes. W- what exactly is c- coming up in the big midget world? Well, right now we got a lot of uh, videos coming from um, mixtapes that we've done dropped already. And the last mixtape we dropped, Kill Season and Tsunami Part One. So we got a lot of videos coming off both those projects. And then next we got Tsunami Part Two, and we got Super Let's Turn Up. Hosted by DJ Super Duper. I'm going to be following with two projects. And with them two projects, we got to have a lot of videos coming in collaborations and all that stuff. So that's going to follow. Okay. Um, what, what I'm noticed in, uh, you know, back in Connecticut, a lot of people are doing mixtapes. Is there a reason right. why, you, why you're doing mixtapes rather than EPs? Well, honestly, we're just trying to get the... the, the the name up there, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to get the buzz. Once the buzz get rolling, and then we we put the prices on it. But you know I mean, everything. I mean, everybody had their own way of going about things. Some people don't put out mixtapes. Some people don't put out albums. Now, I mean, my guy put out just videos. You know what I'm saying? You get his buzz up by just videos. Some people just collaborate with people and just get their buzz up by that, or just produce for people. I mean, everybody got their own way of going about things. So I knock nobody. Have you uh have y'all collaborated with anybody down south? Nah, down south yet. Nah, other than family wise, nah, not nobody other than family wise. I I know a bunch of cats out here. Oh yeah. <laughs> out there down south, I would I wouldn't mind though. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I wouldn't mind. Well, I mean, we we had a great one yesterday. Uh, he actually has a song with T Pain, uh, Beast Hollywood, yeah, and yeah. then we had Dirty D not too long ago. And I mean, I can go on and on. On and on. Right, that's that's dope right there. Yeah, that's dope. <clears throat> that's one lane we haven't touched yet. Is the um, 
South music. We do self music collaborating with other people wise, but on our own, that's not really like our, our thing. Yeah. All right. So do you have any crazy or, uh, you know, uh, great memories as far as when you all were at, you know, a club or in a studio and it just really sticks out you'd like to share? Oh, yeah, definitely. Like probably one of our earliest shows when we went to a show and we performed just me and my brother this time. I mean, Shika Shin. Shout out to Shika Shin. And we did a performance, two songs, and the DJ's equipment just messed up in the middle of the show, and we just oh, kept that energy going. And yeah. we had the party liver without the song playing than when the song was playing. That's probably one of our craziest moments. Well, wow, that had to be hard, you know, you know, losing the DJ. I, I know from, you know, uh, a talk radio show, when our equipment messes are, it's huge. It's a yeah, huge thing. But you got to, you got to, you got to capitalize off that. And that's what we did. Like we stuck with the energy and now, nah, I mean, we had another verse and another chorus to go after. So we just did that acapella and the energy was real live. Yeah, we're actually uh, rolling two recordings right now in case one doesn't catch it. We're we're not going through that again. <laughs> yeah, we're y'all super duper. Yeah. You gotta be. You gotta be one step up. If you ain't one step exactly. up, you're gonna be five steps behind. That's right. There you go. That's big midget music. So, uh, who came up with the idea of big midget music? Because. That was- Oh, Go ahead. Yeah, sorry. No, I was gonna say that was all that we we was big midgets from from the start. You know what I'm saying? Big midget music. We put music at the end because we feel like we got our own sound, and we don't sound like nobody else. So that's what makes it big midget music. But we've been we've been big midgets though. Well, it, it's like we we had this metal band called Omega Down. Big midget is like the same thing. It, you know, yeah. you got a, your upper and your downer at the same time. Yeah, exactly. That's the best part about it. Opposites attract. And, and exactly. And you need uh, protons and neutrons to make electrons. And without electrons, yeah. it, shit ain't running. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Word up. And uh, Sean Jeezy over here, you going to ask something or are you just going to... I'm here Sit to, back and listen. Yeah, I asked a couple of questions. You know, who uh, who was your 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 um, favorite artist coming up? You know, during your childhood, who who was your favorite artist? I mean, yo, man, I'm telling you, I'm so deep into family being inspiration. But if you want to just jump all family wise, it probably would be somebody like. Busta Rhymes and Method Man, you know what I mean? That was more like the inspirations back then. Yeah. Wow, because coming from Connecticut, Wu-Tang was the shit back in the day. Ain't nobody was talking about D-Block. Ain't nobody talking about anybody else other than like DMX and Wu-Tang, and that's it. Yep. Word, word. So that was like the main inspiration right there outside, out out of bound wise. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Uh, you know, uh, Bush boy, uh, are you a f- currently a family man or? Yeah, I'm definitely a family man all the time, 24, seven, three, six, five. But I, but I mean, are you rolling with the, you know, the wife and the kids or are you, you know, you uh, single or uh, what's, what's your deal right now? I'm cruising. That's what I'm doing. I'm cruising. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, you crazy. Yeah. Now nah, I'm cruising though. I ain't I ain't I ain't looking. I'll tell you that much. Right. You know what I mean, I ain't looking. I'm focused, man. I'm working on it. All right. Well, uh, Chrissy D has joined us and uh maybe she might want to ask you a question. Right. Hello, how are you? Hey, what's going on? Not much. All right. That's cool. Yeah. Um All right, she's a little uh starstruck as well. <laughs> I think she just wanted to say hi. Yeah, I, just I could dig it. For now. 
You know, so so what is the best show that you've all done as far as being live? And uh, what kind of crowd really, you, you know, motivates you? Are you more of a, you know, just, you know, your friends and family or the bigger crowds give you the rush? Or is it just the uh, uh, random people? I think, I think my best show was when the... DJ's equipment messed up just because of how we 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 capitalized off it and we came back and we not I me mean, versus the other performers like when the DJ equipment messed up they stopped then they had to start the whole song over but we kept it going and we made the crowd hype as well that probably was my best show right there even though it was one of our earliest shows but we motivate ourselves you know what I'm saying we just we just go out there no rehearsal or none of that we just go out there and make it happen you know what i'm saying so so basically a lot of it you ad lib no we we do it automatically you know what i'm saying the majority of times we don't have no no verses we go over there and spit ours basically acapella not really acapella because obviously got the beat but no song behind it and we we go in it's it's natural it, it, it's like everyday talking and that's funny because i i had a friend of mine he uh went by doc danger his uh real name was mel and uh it was funny anywhere that he went you you know it was him because he was rhyming everywhere their adorable right. conversation everywhere <laughs> yeah that's how, that's how our circle is man we rhyme off for anything we can hear the water dripping and we make that into a temple and we just start a cipher off of that it could be anything and that really takes a special talent not everybody can do that that's musically inclined <laughs> <laughs> That's having rhythm and soul. I got you. <laughs> what do you think about this this um, this YouTube thing that's going on? Uh, where they're mm -hmm. where they're 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 trying to charge people to use the YouTube. I guess. Yeah, I heard about that, but. Hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's all a business. You got to get it how you get it somehow, some way. Because we getting it off of YouTube, too. But but you know what? If they did do that, then another video service would it would jump up. It, it, I, I mean, on, on one end, they'd lose so many people. But on the other end, uh, another service, you know, would gain so many people. Right. So, so you got to take the good with the bad, but yeah, the uh, thing that I'm hearing about YouTube, if you are not signed to a label or if you're not an independent uh, label and giving them, uh, you know, money, they don't want your videos up unless it's like user created, which I think is absolute BS if that is the case, yes, sir. but it, it, it's not like they're the only ones doing music videos now. Right, right. I heard about that too. Like I, I just recently heard they was about to start taking independent artists off of YouTube. I didn't understand it fully, so but I was about to dig back deep into that. I mean, it's crazy that you said something about it. Well, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it really. It, I don't like the idea. Don't get me wrong. I don't like the idea, but at the same time, as far as our business and what we do is concerned. It's going to give us more exposure by them doing that. Right. Man, either way, it's just going to get got. Only people who ain't got no other way around it is going to be the ones complaining about it. Exactly. But then again, everybody complains about something at some point. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all in need. We all have that. That's how it goes. So, uh, if everything were to work out your way, where could you see yourself and you know your boys and everything in a good three to five years down the road? Three to five years, we definitely got to have our company rolling. Probably a few more artists and producers and engineers and etc. And I mean collaboration, networking, everybody's movements and rotation, and we just doing way better. That's how I see it.
and, and and that's phenomenal because that's the way to do it. They're making moves. You know, they're looking yeah. upward. Yeah. There ain't no steps yeah. back. It's all steps forward. Yeah, exactly. Push higher. All right. Well, we've been hearing, you know, the tsunami, the tsunami. All right. Well, we're going to hear the tsunami right now, and then we'll come back and, you know, uh, finish up and ask you a few more things. All right? Right. All right. Well, this is Tsunami by uh, Boys Boy, a.k.a. B-Born, mm-hmm. a.k.a. the Sh- uh, Chic Lutz Twin. <laughs> <laughs> big Midget Music. Yeah, Big Midget Music on 2 Local Radio, 86.5 on your Spreaker dial. You now rocking with the Midgets. Big Midget Music. It's your girl, Yanni Amir, in your ear, representing GEI Connecticut, Brick House Models, Inc., and that Free Riders Divas, Inc. You can't avoid the tsunami. The team might like, know when the light feel with the hype Unbelievable, venom is biting, not a soul This D block, others below, all of the above Undercover, slip up, I erupt another fold We untouch him with no hands, quick with the reach Dangling screws, appear to be fool, picking the beast Chillax, we all the way up into the max Shoving his snacks, a death of spoil with the Mac You can't avoid the tsunami, go with the flow Cause when it hit a billy, there's a billy more to go That's Big Bill and Lil Bill, doing my dirt A auntie with D is fatal, I'ma work, give me the lane I'll poot and bomb little we lane Just in case they ain't know, I'ma do it the same Hey, go round, y'all show up, we shut the show down Throw aways for days, cause it's enough to go around Okay, no more but the break time I'm coming to take mine's dip Cause you can't avoid the tsunami Straight down the baseline, they hurt through the grapevine It's mine, cause you can't avoid the tsunami We are the tsunami, by far the tsunami The largest tsunami, the hardest tsunami No more but the break time, I'm coming to take mine's Cause you can't avoid DJ the Big Mitchell's did it to ya Combinations of bars when we spit it to ya Yeah, send quivers through ya Just ask for us and we'll give it to ya Swerve I got bars for days When I spit I get hot like the month of May April showers I have the guards do the rain dance 24 hours, we get the same J's. Super. So I raise Duper. the stakes. Money in the pot like the dice man rolls the bank. Swerve. Swerve. You know the flow is straight. Yell in the cave just so I can hear this great. Voice that I have. Spawn with words. Choices that I have. Weighing my options. Keeping tabs. Equals counting this money. Throw it in the bag. Clocking math. All right, we're back with uh, Christ Bush. And, uh,. Here's a question I I really have for you. Considering you are a producer, if if one of your artists does not show and you don't have a fill-in for them, how critical is that being a producer? Not critical at all. Not critical at all. I, I feel like, I mean, the slide is there, so, I mean, it ain't no rush or nothing. So, you you know, you just move on and do what you got to do then. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Time is divine. So, where do, where do your, uh, you know, influences as far as what makes you, when you're thinking about making a beat, or you know, you know, performing. What goes through your mind as far as where where the song's gonna go? Is it something that you uh, watching, you know, on TV, like 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 a certain sound, or where where do you get your uh, music producing wise inspirations from? Production, it, it just comes out of the air. Like I said, it could be it could be anything. It could be the sound of water dripping. It could be, I mean, anything. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it just come out of the air. But with the songs, we, we listen to the beats. We tell us that's the concept. Now, I mean, we fit the concepts to the songs, to the beats, instead of just going off concept. All right, so... So basically, you get the beat laid down, and once you got that beat laid down, you flow to the beat. 
Yeah, definitely. We sit there, you know what I mean, let it marinate, probably play it for like two hours sometimes. Sometimes it just happened while I'm making a beat because the majority of the time I'm making a beat on the spot. All right. Now, now let, let's just say hypothetically, if you were, you know, able to open up for any artist out there, who would it be? Man, is it local or are we talking? We're, we're, we're going, we're going universal. Anybody? Anybody? I will go. I will definitely open up for a local artist before any industry artist. I'm not even gonna lie. Nice, nice. <laughs> I, I, I was hoping you say that because today's artists nowadays, man, they suck. <laughs> yeah. <Word up. laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't. All right. Well, lo- well, locally, not a part of your family. Who who would you open up for? Locally, I got a I got a few people I will I will probably open up for. That'll be like people like like I said, Eastwood Entertainment. That's Abyss, my guy from out here, East End, East Indians, the Crime Family, CCS, and the Hard Knock Entertainment. You know what I'm saying? We got um cash related. It's man, I could keep going down the line. I'm telling you, man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm affiliated. <laughs> but but as far as artists wise, mm-hmm. those is all artists. It was probably like a few producers that I named too, but they're artists as well. All right, well I'm I'm unfamiliar, and I I, I do apologize. No no no, it's all gravy, you know. So uh, if you could, all right, I'm I'm gonna throw you for a loop. All right, let's do it. If you could perform for with any band out there, who would it be? Band, oh, the Roots. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And and what's funny is almost every you know indie artist that we have that does hip hop, right, talks about the Roots. You know, they the truth, man. They is definitely the truth. Like they got the the total package, and that they define us. Like we we got the total package. It's nothing in our circle that we don't do. If I was still in the rhyme, in which I'm not, but if I was, right. I, I'd try to, you know, try to find a way to rhyme off a of stomp. I think you got it, man. I, I feel like if you don't try to sound like whoever else, then you good. <laughs> you're good if you don't you good man I, I believe that like, you sound like you you got something you trying to hide <laughs> nah I ain't got sh- she <laughs> nah not no more but uh but uh somebody coming up you know wanting to be a producer or an MC nowadays what it what advice would you give them uh you know from a personal standpoint and you know how hard things can be i say just just do what you got to do don't fully listen to nobody just you know what i mean suck up sucking a lot of information but this shit out in your own perspective and, and that is you know like a most interview question but the reason i asked it because you never, ever, ever, ever hear the same thing. That's good. <laughs> that means everybody on their own page. That's 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 what I like. Yeah. Especially when you have like you know a hundred different artists and they're all saying different things. It's it's like okay, well this isn't code speech. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> that's why I say be different because a lot of artists that be they they want to be about the street life and the street life is cool because it's all reality. You want to speak real, but that's not really, really moving. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got the same story. I feel like if you're going to speak on the street life tip, you got to come out and, you know what I mean? Throw the Frisbee a whole different way because everybody in the same lane right now. All right. All right. I, I'm, I'm going to ask you an off the wall question. A guy, a guy comes in very talented. He wants to be an MC, but he can't rhyme worth a damn. But but he's a heck of a producer. How 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 would you explain to him? Hey, your rhyming sucks. But but as far as music, you can do something else. 
honestly, I, I wouldn't even tell him his rhyming suck. I ain't even going to lie. I would sit there and try to help him work on his craft. That's just my model right there. So so you'd build a song around him to make him sound better than he actually is? Exactly. I'll make him build a song around him to make himself sound better. I wouldn't try to like take over his track and make him sound good and knowing in reality it's all me, but he playing it off like it's him. Now, I mean, I'd rather him get all this credit. You, you know, you're, you're passing every test with flying colors here. <laughs> Oh, I, 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 I can dig. I even know I'm thinking it's test. I thought it was like a regular cipher. Yeah. Uh, I didn't even know it was a test either, but I just thought about it, and I'm like, well, I must be testing him. <laughs> he, he, he's talking about himself, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the one. He's got talent, man, but he, he won't put it out there. Nah, I'm, I, I don't have any talent. Come on, man. I, yeah, I'm on a radio. I be, He's a shy I used kid. To be like that. I, mean, I, I used to be like that until a lot of people pushed the lyrics out of me and then so I, mean, I stopped doing that. I used to do the same thing, though. I mean, I know how it is. Man, I, man why are you trying to put me on the spot here? <laughs> hey, I see why he does radio, though. But he well, can. Yeah, he, that's my next goal yeah, right there, radio. Oh yeah, he's he's a good rapper, but he need a little help. That's uh, all it is. I, I'm not no good rapper. I I can't rap worth that dime. Yes, you can. Man. Need help, man. Even the good rappers need help. Oh Ain't yeah, a lot perfect. of those need help. I will tell you that now. Good rappers, <laughs> <laughs> the ones that's making money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they already in there already, so they can play around. Yeah, I mean, their flaws uh, is covered up. Uh, yes. All right. Well, I mean, how, how does it make you feel um, being, you know, doing all these mixtapes and everything that a lot of the radio, uh, you, you know, FM, I'm not even going to mention, you know, whether it's AM, FM, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, but a lot of, you know, the hip hop stations are playing the same thing, no matter if you're in. Connecticut, Los Angeles, Texas, Ohio, it doesn't matter. That's crazy, man. I feel like everybody's stuck in the same zone, man. So many people that are stuck in the same zone, it just blocks out all of us original people, so it gives us not that much space to squeeze through, but we're still going to make it. I mean, as long as nobody give up, have that faith, that drive, dedication, you in there like somewhere. It, it, exactly. You don't need the map. You're over the map. You're over, you, you know, everything. And it's like, okay, well, you're not going to let us in while well, we're kicking the damn door down. It don't matter. Basically, you have to fix it later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> All right. Well, do you have any uh, final, uh, you know, words or anything you want to speak with before uh, we let you get out of here? Well, I just want everybody to know, stay in tune to Big Midget Music. This your boy, Bush Boy, a.k.a. DJ Super Duper. Go on datpiff.com slash shikasham slash mixtapes. Download that Kill Season. Download that Now Hate Me. Go on soundcloud.com slash Big Midget Music. Download the Tsunami, and we got a whole bunch of tracks on there. You can download youtube.com slash anything to all access. Look out for the Tsunami Part 2. Super, let's turn up. Cash related, the fourth generation, fifth man. Look at here, DJ Super Duper. We out this. All right. Well, it was you know good talking to you. Uh, we wish you know Big Midget Music the best of luck. We appreciate it. As well as uh, you, uh, Mr. Uh, Christ Bush. Word up. And uh, we'll definitely have you on in the future. See what's what's going on. Word up, man. Wish y'all the best, too, man. Thank y'all for having me. And we definitely got to link up some more in the future, definitely. As long as you don't ask me to rhyme, I'm good. Nah, we need a freestyle man, I mean, from that's, Ray that's, Ray. That's, that's, that's coming up for sure. <laughs> 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 you know I mean? That's personal, right? That's off the air. Right? <laughs> exactly. But uh, thank you for coming on uh, to Local Radio, and you have yourself a wonderful evening. Uh, you have a better one.